So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at, well, a lot of people already know about the ONN 4K streaming box that has Google TV on it. A lot of people know about it. A lot of people may not know about it. So we're gonna go ahead today and show you what's inside, hook it up, show you some settings to make it run really nice and smooth. And at the end, I'll show you a nice web browser that you can add to the device. So stay tuned. We'll get all this done. It's time for streaming. So this is what's inside the box of the ONN device. You get these at Walmart. They're about 20 bucks. Not bad, but it is a really good device. Just in case the Amazon Fire Stick go south and they start taking a lot of things off it you can't add anything on it this is going to be your next best backup for the price so what you can see you have your remote you have a pair of batteries hdmi cable you also have your power plug and device and they give you a notebook just to tell you about what everything is and pretty much how to hook it up also so now we're gonna go ahead, hook this up, and we'll be right back to go ahead and start tweaking some of the settings inside the device. So here we go, we got the device all plugged up, and it's starting up, which is really good. Let's give that a few seconds to boot up, and then we'll go ahead and continue here. So right now it says pair and remote successful. It says welcome, now go ahead, and choose English, United States, English, Canada, Spanish, and then France. Okay, I'm in English, United States. Go ahead, click on that enter button. Select your region, United States. So now you have the option of going ahead and using the Google Home app on your phone to go ahead and set it up, or you could go ahead and say, set up with TV instead. Right now, I'm going to use the TV method. Once you choose that you want to go ahead and set it up with the TV, it's going to come up and say, connect to Wi-Fi. Choose your Wi-Fi, put your password in. After you put your password in, it's going to come over here and ask you to go ahead and sign into your Google account. I'm going to sign into my account now, and then we'll come right back. After you go ahead and you put your email in and your password, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and open up the Google app to make sure that it was you that was signing in. Once you have done that, then just come back here, click on accept. We move on to the next step. Right here, use location. I go ahead and say no. I say turn off. Go down to the next one, click on it, and turn off again. Once you have done that, go ahead, click on accept. We move on to the next step. Stay in the know. You want to get updates from Google? I'm right now going to say no thanks and let's move on. Google Assistant, go ahead, click on continue. Now you're here, you can go ahead and search for apps across other TV apps. Right now, I'm going to say no thanks. Go ahead and choose your subscriptions. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna say confirm. Set up remote. Let's go ahead, click on it. To set up volume controls, choose what you'll use to play the sound. I'm going to use soundbar because that's what I have hooked up right now. I also have a Samsung soundbar. It detected it right away. I'm going to click on next. I'm gonna ask if I hear any sound. I'm gonna go up and down. Uh, yes, I do hear the sound, which is working out great. To set up the power button, choose your TV brand. I gotta scroll down. I have a Toshiba. Go ahead and click on that power button. Press once and wait eight seconds, then go ahead and press it on again. I'm going to do that now. We'll come right back. After you do that, it comes right back and it says install in your apps. Gonna take a few seconds to do that. Now yeah, we'll come right back and we'll continue. So here we are now on the home screen of the ONN device, 4K streaming device. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that your ONN device is up to date. You want to go over to the gear, 
click on the gear give that a few seconds to come on in then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down to where it says system once you get over the system go back over scroll down go to about click on about click on system update give that a few seconds let it check to see if there's an update your system is up to date so we're absolutely good let's go ahead and click on that back button now what we want to do is go ahead and get developer options so what we need to do now is go down we're still in the about section let's scroll down to where it says android tv os build let's go ahead click on that about several times you are now a developer which is good because we're going to need this for later on when we do other things click the back button one more time let's scroll down to where it says developer options now that we have it go ahead open it up you want to scroll down to where it says usb debugging go ahead click on it and say yes okay now what you want to do is go ahead scroll further down to where it says window animation scale go over to the right i like to put my animation as 0.5 this is going to make things flow a lot more easier really more snappier than having a little bit of a lag go down transition animation go over to the right same thing 0.5 let's go now click on that home button back onto the main screen Go back over to settings, click on to the gear again, and let's go get settings. When we're in settings, let's go ahead. Let's click on apps. While we're in apps, scroll on down till you get to security. Once you're over here in security, you want to go ahead, just click on the top one. Let's go turn both of them off. This is going to give us the accessibility to sideload our apps. Click the back button one more time. Go back up to the top where it says see all apps. Go ahead over to the right. Here you are with the see all apps. So now in here, you can go ahead and delete anything that you feel you're not going to use. Let's just say Hulu, right? You hover over it, you go to the right, click on uninstall, give it a few seconds, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to install it? You say, okay. If not, then you click on cancel. I'm not going to use Hulu. I'm going to say, okay. And it's uninstalled. As you can see, it has been removed. Now you can just go ahead and go through a lot of these. Whatever you feel you're not going to use, delete them. Free up some space on your ONN device. After you've done that, let's go ahead and click on that home button. Let's get back to the home page. Let's go over to apps. Come on down. Your apps are here. Let's search for apps. Go ahead and click on the enter button. What app everybody needs is download us. So let's go ahead and download it. We'll come right back. Once you type the word downloader in, go ahead and click on that magnifying glass. Give it a few seconds to come on in. Here it is, downloader, click on it. Then click on install, and it will install it onto your device. After it has been installed, go down one, click on open, let it open itself up. Click on allow, click OK. On the need where it says enter a URL, go up one time, go ahead and click on that enter button and type in the following. You want to type in 218330. Go ahead down, click on the enter button. What it's going to do is going to switch you over to the Time for Streaming webpage. In here, I got a lot of different apps that you could go ahead and feel free to put it onto your ONN device. Once it switches over, go to the three lines, click on it, come on down to where it says downloads, click on downloads, wait for the page to change, scroll out and down, movie downloads, you have all your different downloads in here, it tells you what they're for, you got TV downloads, just keep scrolling down and you have a whole lot more. Now go ahead, click on that home button on your remote and let's go get the web browser, click on apps, scroll down, and let's type in the following. After you type in the following, go ahead, click on the magnifying glass so that way it finds it. Right here, the first one, Geosphere. Go ahead, click on install. Give that a few seconds to install and we'll come right back. After it's finished installing, go ahead, down one time, click on open. Let's go ahead, give it a few seconds to open up. 
go ahead and say accept you'll be fine now you can choose standard mode study mode or incognito mode but if you're using a vpn you don't have to worry about incognito mode but right now i'm staying with the same one standard mode give that a few seconds let it go ahead and open itself up and we'll be able to start using the web browser right now you could go ahead and skip the tour you really don't need it and here you go now you could go ahead and start searching the web whatever you want to do on your onn device like that home button so here you go we're back on the home screen this is how you go ahead and set up your onn 4k streaming box that you got at walmart for twenty dollars you did a little tweaking of some things for animation so that way it flows really nice and fast as you can see right here flows really nice i hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining leave your comments down below let me know if you use the onn device let me know if you use that web browser that we just installed also and remember day or night it's time for streaming